a not guilty verdict was delivered in the case against Robert Jeffrey Morden, who was charged with criminal negligence causing death and failing to provide the necessities of life for First Nations man, 45-year-old William Amo. The judge ruled prosecutors did not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Morden was negligent in providing the necessary care in his role as a corrections officer seeing Amo's safety, citing trained medical personnel on scene tending to Amo and following protocols laid out by the Headingley Correctional Facility. Amo's family was heartbroken and did not speak to media. However, one of Amo's friends met us outside of the courthouse. I want justice for my friend. He was more than a friend. He was like a brother to me. And hearing everything today was just... The 45-year-old inmate died in 2021, seven days after a violent confrontation with jail staff. During the trial, court heard he was struggling to breathe before he died of a heart attack. Louise Minot says she doesn't agree with the judge's conclusion in the case and says the family isn't done with advocating for their loved one. I really don't think that's fair. Our justice system needs to do better. I want them to remember that he was a human being. He was a strong person and always was there for his family and his friends. He wasn't what they're saying he was. We all have our demons, I sure do. That's how I met William, was in the darkest times of my life, and he helped me get through that. In Winnipeg, Joanne Roberts, City News.